back to some astroneer we're gonna be uh hopefully getting the base a little bit more organized today uh, messing around with the beginnings of some sort of automation uh if we can even figure that out i have no idea um and yeah i think it'll it'll be a good time what's going Ryder? so let us see here Tractor, trailer, okay, that's all good. We got our Sylvie with us from last stream. Hello, sir. And we will get started. All right. So things that we need to consider is how many smelters we want to run. I want to run four total smelters um one of uh no two of which are going to just constantly produce iron well okay correction the first four they're all going to be producing iron and then two of them are going to feed into a chemistry lab that's going to produce a constant supply of steel what all happened last stream oh just continuing you know, the overall progress, um, you know, made, made some large wind turbines for power, went to some other planets to pick up supplies, started doing some quests, so. Pretty much same old, same old stuff. Now, something that I want to do is I'm going to disconnect this train for a bit. Because I'm thinking we're going to have to use this station. The station is stationary and can't be moved. Which is honestly a little sad to me. But we're going to try and use this as our station. Um, actually, it just does missions. I don't think this station can do the automation and stuff. Okay. So because of that, what we'll do then is we'll put our actual station kind of before it. You know, like somewhere up there where it can connect into and kind of share this plateau. At least that's that's the plan, at least. So let's go ahead and flatten this out a little bit. Get this cliff face nice. Goodbye. Just knock that thing into next week. Okay, so we get that. Nice and good. And in fact, we're gonna bring the train. Okay, never mind. The train has no power because it's disconnected right now. We're gonna. Oh boy, we're gonna be moving things around. All right, train. Come off here real quick. Basically, this junction is maybe not acquired where it's at, so we're going to be 
uh, switching that around a little bit. Okay. First things first, what I want to do is line this up. It's a nice straight rail piece. There we go. this move this over here Ooh, can this can this just directly snap onto a rail section can it do that 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 would actually be pretty convenient if it can oh my lord that's kind of nice so here's our here's our station okay that looks all right Let's uh, maybe get some of the terrain a little bit smoother here. So I find in Astroneer, it's just best to come at the problem from a couple different angles. And then when the angles finally kind of converge, you know, they should kind of soften the edge up a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyways, we got a little bit of a mound here going, but that's okay. The rail is going to go out this way, and then it's going to make its junction probably around here. And then this will decide whether the train's going to go to the mine or out somewhere else. At the end of the stream last night, I offered to jump on an organized starter base a bit of something you want to do. Otherwise, if you're not worried about it, no biggie. Um, I mean, if you're friends with me on Steam already, you should be able to just straight up join um, and straighten up the first base if you want. But I'm also just not worried about it either. Not right now. Like all three of us is kind of currently, you know, working on... Now, can this even get stuck into its own rail? Let's bring this out. Lovely. So. All right, and now we just need, you know what, having a slight bank. Um, 
into that turn might be pretty cool. Okay. Gives us some extra room and everything. And then all aboard. Print a rail post bundle. Okay. And okay, so I guess we just need to print one of these to continue the quest a little bit. May also want to get some more turbines. Real quick too. Right, rail post bundle. Resin and aluminium. There's some resin. And aluminium. Alright, cool. Go and claim that. <clears throat> Staying on track. So these are some manuals. Board. Use data log and logistic depot glacier to update the compass. Sightings. Connect rail line to a sight pylon. Glacio. Sight pylon is detected on the surface in caverns near identified valuables. Establish work connection to sight pylon for rapid transit. Ooh, drill mod three. Wow, I got a free drill mod. It's kind of nice. Thanks, train conductor guy. Oxygen tank. Maybe important. Railway junction bundle. All right, let's get some soil so we can get some power actually from the base back into the rail line again. Pretty important. But also, we need to put together the train again. Choo choo. I don't know why, but this train makes me. Maybe because it's like. kind of toyish looking, you know? I, it just makes me think of like a wooden train set I would have. Or. Um, yeah, just like a wooden train set. With like the puzzle piece kind of connection points for the track and stuff. And the little magnetic coupling things, which is always pretty cool. The double station's kind of cool. Okay. Let's get some ceramics made. We should route the power a little bit differently too. Boom, 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 boom. We do have more of these guys. I'm gonna route the power this way a little bit just to give us a little bit more of a squared off kind of area to work from. turbines is little power cords all right and 
will also I go in this way. Set this to default, always go I guess to the left. this I don't know we were messing with these connection nodes for a little bit trying to figure out how they work so still a little iffy on them for sure a little iffy I have no idea why this one just keeps switching forever. Like every time I go through, it pulses from this direction, but the other way, it just always sets it to the correct side. Um, a little weird. Maybe the train station will kind of teach us a little bit more. Because even when it's set correctly and I go through here, it doesn't, it doesn't trigger a change. A little weird. Unless we want to branch it this way. going to be more maybe like that Yep. All right. Well, let's let's stop worrying about it for a little bit. Um, what do I need to be doing again? Oh, oh ceramic stuff. Yes, I wanted ceramic. Make a couple windmills. There's little power poles. 
Like wonderful little power poles. Bloop. Bloop. Okay, power is shared again between both areas. Very good. So uh, let's take out this iron. So we make sure we have it all real quick. Because we're gonna have to start organizing the base soon. In a pretty big way. So what we need to have happen is when the train pulls into the station, everything gets offloaded and then sorted based on ore type. And then based on ore type, it'll either just stay there at the uh, depot or get pushed on to a smelter for smelting and resorting. Vice versa. So you guys know the plan, try and automate the steel production process. Everything from gathering the gas required and on. So let's look at some technology. We have 4,000 tech. Wanna see if there's anything that we're specifically going to need to assist with this, and I think there are. When activated, also activates any targeted items. Proximity. When activated, also activates any items in range. Delay count. Fault finder. Defragments code to drive lost strata and astroneer training program. Resource container. Go swore there was some more advanced little button stuff. I mean, maybe the sensor? Sensor object that includes reaction slots that can remotely activate usable items. Sensor hoops. Extra large sensor hoops. Maybe it's these? Some good old sensor arrays. Power sensor, storage sensor, battery sensor. So probably storage sensor. At the very least. Okay, so those those are some decent tech items that we'll probably get some use out of.
man. It's failing today at making a smoothish transition, all right? All right. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I should make that mod tool here. For our drill, what's what's it called? It's called the alignment tool, right? Which requires a zinc, which we do have. Zinc, that is an aluminium. That's zinc. Alright, an alignment tool. Let's get some soil bits. Anyways, chat, how you guys doing today? It's Wednesday, right? Ooh. This is interesting. So the alignment tool is definitely going to be a thing we turn on and off. Hey, Matt, good to see you again. Welcome back to the mess that is this save. So if I'm reading the alignment tool right, it should... While I'm going flat, it should be perfectly flat from like the level, right? Or like from the um, planetary surface? Something like that. Lost a card game, I had to give a coin from 1477 to the winner, GG. That So let's try. Using the alignment tool here. I'm just gonna see how it works out. Okay.
Yeah, I want to try and get this as flat, as smooth as possible. Have a good level workspace. This is looking pretty good. So until I do something like that. Getting there, chat. We're getting there. Oh, place. It's gonna get all smooth. And this crater. And boy, is this a little power hungry. Charging is delightfully musical. Agreed. All right, I think that's uh, that's pretty much flat enough. You know, as they say. Okay, uh, we need to get an actual landing pad established for this thing, so it can kind of get out of the middle here. So we can go ahead and make a landing pad. Aluminium and ceramic times two. I'm gonna put the landing pad out here on the opposite side of the uh, train station. Tell me that thing fell over. No? Okay, good. And then we're gonna take this mod off. Don't need that. Any more? Try and move the big rover out of the way. So I think I wanna have areas defined. Um, so over here is going to be where all that inventory is kind of sorting and storing is kind of going to start, right? Grabby arms, I guess. I have no idea, and I did not think before just running over my power grid there. Whoops.
bring that over there. Okay. <clears throat> I need a good storage system. And I honestly don't know. I want to go about doing one. Here. Put the hang pad installed. that a luggage train? It's a uh, train. Train. Temporary shuttle place established. All right, let's establish our standard personal crafting area. This is the area where I craft individual things not in the automated fashion because we still gonna need that capability so the two centrifuges are gonna be good there Do a 45 degree turn here. Get the scrap and shuttle area established. You really see we're just moving everything around at this point. So nice that you can just grab the whole platform though. I just want to get this thing placed somewhat correctly. Uh, okay, good. All 
Oxygen! And so that's gonna be our power cable initial. We need to climb the surface to get uh, the wind turbines actually placed up here and stuff. Take our batteries. Now can this actually clip to the wall like that? Oh my lord, it can. That is interesting. Should we use the wall like this? Like this could fit decently well, like in that little gully section. So uh, let's go up around to the top here. Yeah, I didn't know you could stick just every platform to the wall. I think it's just platforms and certain items. You can stick to the walls like that. Need to find a way to get up into this valley. There's so many of these train platforms. Do 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 do. See if we can't get stuck on this ledge. I wanna, I wanna nat terraform this, just to try and keep it decently how it is. right above the power inlet get this right above me okay come on come on come on come on all right what do we need to make power extenders Not power s switch or a splitter. I'm looking for extenders. Is that a backpack item? Mm, could use small, let's see, power cells, consumable item, small generator. Hmm. 
gas canister, power sensor. There we go, power extenders. Used to add length to power cable segments to show power, power draw. So we just need one copper to make some of these. Yeah. Ah! Get it off! All right. Didn't I bring home one copper chat? I felt like I brought home one, but I might have accidentally used it. I think I accidentally used it. All right, we'll use this thing as a power extender initially. Honestly, it's cheaper anyways. Hello, Renee. Okay. Big boys over here. Can these stick to the wall? <gasps> oh, they can. Oh, that's a little dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> I want to make a service ramp up to there so I don't go around every time. Just thinking, cutting something in. Up there. Nice little cut. How close is too close? Let's uh, pop this real quick. Hmm. 
Oh, so we fell over. Nom 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 nom. So this is actually probably going to be part of our automation, so we can kind of leave that disconnected for now. That's okay. Get our printing station next to soil condensers. So better to build it up to the height limit to get better wind, solar power, or is it just the same as the normal ground? I'm pretty sure it's just the same everywhere. I mean, there's even wind in caves, right? So, like, you could build everything underground if you wanted to. I'm just doing that because those are pretty big turbines, so it just looks a little silly for them to be, like, where they were. And I'm still not 100% sold on that placement, but they're at least out of the way. what I get. Just digging around. Okay. Boop -a doop -a doop -a doop. Solar get shadow. Oh, I didn't know that. I think it would be the opposite. Well, not opposite, but like, you know, wind wouldn't be underground. Right, let's do like a hard turn here. So end up being some storage for us. Research, research. This guy. This guy's probably going to be part of the automation process to make the steel. hooked up to
the snails do anything. This one, when I feed it a seed, it brightens up the area of this game. That's good, Jimmy. Good game. Okay. So this is our new production layout from scrap and trading to soil centrifuges to crafting to smelting compound materials. These two things are getting reserved for automation for steel. So we're just going to link them off to the side here. For now. Is there a better large thing? Shelter. Ooh, you know what? Having a shelter could be cool. Two plastic, two silicone. Plastic is easy. Silicone. As far as methane. We don't have methane. Oh man, the auto extractor. Tungsten carbide. Oh. oh, we can make that. Tungsten and carbon? platform we need two iron for these C ones these C ones are nice I feel they got a lot of connection points do you have a small travel shelter unlocked in the research net yet just two resin and two iron go ahead and print that real quick Honestly, like instead of getting the first space station uh, shuttle, is that what your question is? Source canister. What's it take for the large resource canister? Glass titanium nanocarbon alloy. Hmm. Requires helium, titanium alloy, and steel. Titanium alloy requires nitrogen and graphene. Okay, so. This would be good for the soil machines. It would kind of truncate them down, yeah. I wish they would announce anything about Astroneer 2, KSB2 releasing in two days, and then some research gathering on the roadmap. Might be fun with some mods. Yeah, I'm super excited for KSB2. I'm going to be playing that. I think that's either tomorrow or Sons of the Forest is tomorrow. Let me look here. Sons of the Forest is the 23rd tomorrow. Oof, it's dangerous. Uh, 
Well, you know what the downside is about this platform, though, is that it doesn't, um, you know what, we're going to use this almost like a trucking depot thing, so in the middle of the base, to where it doesn't need power have this here Move these way off to the side because you know it'll be a little while till everything's automated and everything's nice and pretty still but I might be able to get the tr truck through here and this drop off medium storage containers kind of at will but I'm gonna get the large things first. Alright, three ceramic each. Always gotta have a quarry. Carbon and compound. Again, that's easy. Glass we can just get from technically underground to get quartz, but we can also just dig up some some gravel. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have drill three installed, right? Oh, you can toggle things on and off. Oh, okay. So I, I should keep that mod on me and just toggle it on and off. Duh. 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 That mod go. I'm going to stick that thing. Stuck it somewhere. Let's go find some organics. Real quick. I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna re-plug in the rail system. I'm about to figure that out too. Those windmills just look like they're about to fall over because of the slope they're on.
that. Compound, compound. Alright, I have it. Can I make the light pole thing? Is that only large? What does this hook on to? A double? A double. How do I want to do this? Do I just want to put it over the corners like this? And install a work light on them. Just for area light, or do I want to flip it around and do more spotlights? Mm, we'll find out. have any tungsten left. We have zinc. Titanium. I think all of our tungsten's over on the other planet. At the moment. How about work light? We don't have any of that either. Well, for now we'll plan for floodlights. So double floodlights there. That'll look kind of cool. I'm kind of curious what it would look like. which apparently I already had really good at this game uh, 
what did I need this for again? It was that like extra, the uh, large storage thing, right? No, those are just three ceramic each. Shelter? No. What was I trying to make? God, I'm getting so distracted. Oh, I think I know what it was. It was the uh, resource containers, right? I think I know what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. We need a lot of resin. Unless I just want to throw these on there. I don't know. Good. Plastic again, carbon and compound. Okay, so we need to get more carbon, we need to get more compound. We need more ceramic. I guess that means these things might actually finally get put all on our crafting benches. Do I just do normal storage here? Flipping's gonna be a little funky. Like, look at that. Actually, it doesn't look too funky. It's just visual. No, it's not that bad. We're not like Z fighting or anything. It could look okay. It might prove a little annoying, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. okay. So we need a lot more ceramic for these things. 
We need some organics and compound. Let's go. On a mission. So we can get some organics down in here. Compound. I think there's some over here. Go for the bigger grouping. Accomplished. Drive back. Oh, there's quartz here too. Kind of nice. Can, can you do a tractor? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Anyways, Chad, is there any other cool games that you guys are excited for? Obviously, Kirby Space Program 2 is mentioned, but uh, I don't know if you guys ever played the original Forest, but had a pretty cool base in that game back in the day. Hey, ball dress. Carbon, carbon. Carbon required for steel? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to automate carbon production too. That is gonna be interesting. I wonder if an auto miner can dig up organics. I wonder.
Looking forward to Sons. Yeah, I haven't played the original. Just watched it. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I had a good time with my friends on that one. So the trade depot, I can get copper, and I can get tungsten through it. Building looks nice. Yeah, I hope it's, uh, you know, I, I'm trying not to, like, look at it too much. So I can be, like, pleasantly surprised or something like that. But, um, I really enjoyed building in the first one. If it wasn't, you know, it was a little basic with not a crazy amount of flexibility, but, like, just the right amount to at least be good. resin one and the titanium one so all this at least is gonna be uh, definitely a group of resources you know <laughs> gonna be a little Interesting long term how it all shakes out. Some play. For two more placement spots. Do I play Icarus? Uh, no, I've heard of it, and I think I've seen some play of it, but I have not played it myself. So I don't think so. chat actually unloading and picking things up off the ground uh, titanium I already have a titanium one huh? these are also uh, these are already refined have to get some unrefined titanium and iron storage. What's the next thing that I should probably store? Probably compound, if I had to guess. No, we already got compound. Zinc, compound, resin. 
I mean, I could store clay. Or I could store scrap. Ooh, scrap doesn't want to... Oh, no, it does. Okay, if we're doing that, then this goes over here. that for the little mining vehicle. <laughs> so the refined stuff really should be going up behind here. Compound resin can go there. Let's get the other two large storage things. Again, this is raw resource I feel and then gets turned into smelting and then gets picked up with an arm. Once the arm grabs it, the correct container is essentially going to filter it down and then when you're just ready to use something you just pull it off the shelf. You swap it to output, take how much you need and then you just switch it and put it back. Ooh, aluminium would be a good one to store up here. This is the raw titanium. Exochip resin can get stored. room for the car to come through loop around i think that's a i don't know chat do you guys do you guys think this is a pretty compact little layout now room for a lot of expansion over there like to do is potentially to think about getting our auto miner going exo chip we have steel we can make tungsten carbide a little iffy on that one i'm trying to make your storage yeah you can turn the large storage i can so you're talking about so they don't like crisscross like that?
there's quartz over here, right? compound I'm just trying not to get bogged down with too much resource gathering at once. You know, I'm just grabbing out kind of what I need, coming back, keep on working. Gives me a little bit of a break without uh, having me to do like a crazy amount of inventory management. And once we get some of these storage containers really laid out, it's gonna help a lot. Cause we'll be able to put the storage containers on the actual thing for the raw resources. Just got to Glacio, oh yeah, congrats. Enjoy the windy noise. Super windy all the time. See, now you're just copying. You wanted me to turn these. They have been turned. Or plastic to be made. Kind of, I don't know why these side containers don't take stuff out of the um, combiner here. It's a little weird. White noise to chill. Yeah, it's a little drowning though.
two more plastic creation can be had. Operating an easy bake oven right now. All right, three more containers are being made. This one. here for refined. We got titanium, iron, zinc. Um, I wanted one for aluminium, right? But eventually, let's see, we need one for ceramics. Glass, carbon, um, open a box in the air, it stays there, oh yeah? Let's see, let's get, uh... One of these established for some raw resource stuff. This is an alloy, this is an alloy. That's glass. So I can get stored. Lord, is everything basically off the ground? Graphene, that's an alloy. Just about done it, chat. <laughs> you have spent many hours just cleaning our room. Like Gordon Peterson would be proud of us. Understood that reference. Okay. What do I, um, I wanted to make some of those lights, right? that require tungsten so that's wolframite right so that should be three scrap yeah I'm just grabbing these good old rail posts probably not worth a lot I had to guess. I 
I didn't pet the cat, I pet the cat. Tight night. find something that I can just crank out to scrap. How much does a leveling block live? I wonder. Or is it not scrappable? Uh, Great terrain that aligns the voxel grid. Okay, good to know. That's over there then. Let's see. Tethers is compound. Oxygen filters is resin. Small canister is resin. Small generator could be good. Just compound. Let's see if we can shred a small generator real fast. I'll print up some compound though. Spinning up, maybe we can print some resin just so we can store it. Yeah, get a little wind turbine again for ourselves. We can go steal that from over here, right? that All right, small generator Scrappable. Second.
have me tungsten for again? Was I building something? And I forgot what I was doing also. Oh lord. Loving resin. Let's just dump this into it. Okay. Nope. Glass. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna make the arm. Is that what we need the tungsten for? That arm thing? Where the heck do you make that at though? and one graphite. Wait, we can we find graphite, right? Mass murdering generators, what they ever do to you? Floodlight. Oh my lord, is it floodlight? Really? Yes, thank you. There we go. That brightens up the place a little bit. How much power draw does this take? Doesn't look like it takes any, really. Okay, um, graphite, which you can get from soil, and I already have aluminium. Uh -huh. See, this is why I'm glad I have chat with me, guys, because, like, without you, I would be, I'm basically, like, a raccoon, you know? I see something shiny, and then I go after it. And then, sometimes, I find, like, cotton candy, and then I take it to some water to clean it, and it disappears and I become all sad. That's like my memory sometimes. It's just like, shh, fades away. Hey Nick, how's it going? Welcome. It is a little cozy. Especially for how dark it is constantly over here. Alright, so basically I just want to make sure this thing can... Kind of grab from like all of this, ideally? Or just the center? to say. Filter. All items. There's a there's a filter to this? Oh, let's play 
placed inside its input volume to its output volume. How does the filter work? Um... Can I put something in the middle there and it's only gonna grab a singular item? Filter, titanium. Oh, so that's how that works. Hmm. I wish there was different filters, to be honest, than, than just a single item filter thing like that. That's, um, that's a little tough. Because right now it's reaching kind of everywhere which is kind of nice because like you know things get moved but at the same time if i unload things to start smelting kind of in bulk this would almost have to be an island by itself so that when something finishes smelting this arm grabs it, throws it into here, it gets sorted into those bins. There's a platform that I prefer then, if that's the case. Because we almost need another one of these. So the smelter kind of sits on its own. And then this is all the resources that the smelter is going through. Through the rest of the two eyes. tips that you played this one before um i have played it before it's been a few years so you know i'm rusty but um i you know i i i'll take feedback but um i'm not gonna do things 100 percent optimally um, i'm gonna do it kind of my way but if there's like a basic understanding of this then sure just no uh spoilers or anything. so i'm gonna move this back then i'm gonna move this back here. Maybe even farther. We're gonna have two flat platforms still, just to mimic normal manual functioning behavior. We'll leave the other two open for medium can canister raw resources. In case we just wanna dump a canister on here, unload, 
It'll get refined. The arm will grab it, throw it into the canister on that side. Arms are usually placed on a splat platform. You can read one thing, but something read one. Yes, I agree. That's the norm. But Uthris is trying to be compact because uh, this isn't the fully automated area. The fully automated areas, I'm hoping, is going to do the train stuff, right? So those, I think that will be more here. And all this is going to be doing is hopefully titanium smelting and iron smelting into a steel um, works. And then otherwise this is just transport for us. So it's, um, it's a process. So this is gonna stick out now a little bit. That's so maybe I can just push the wall back. Oh, you know what? We could also just do. I think this this is oh maybe at the corner. Smelter. Let's uh let's try and smelt something, I guess. Oh, really Evening. Anything to smelt. How's it going, Silent? I just got home. Oh, welcome home. Jeez, you guys getting snow or something? You know, about two feet. But it also didn't help that someone decided that, uh, or thought that they were faster than a train. And so the train T-boat them. So that, uh, <laughs> it cost about a 30 minute delay. And then I had to go to the post office. Well, hopefully they got out of the car in time. I'm glad you finally made that mythical post office trip. Like that. Well, I thought about doing this it yesterday, side. and it's like there were no sidewalks that were cleaned, so I was like, "You get some iron I'll just real wait quick as a test." Day, sidewalks will be clean. Is it box and not light? For two sets of server rails, this box probably weighs a good twenty-five pounds. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, after all my meetings today, I don't think I want to talk about IT stuff right now. That's all good. I have tomorrow off work, so. Like, this week started out, like, so quiet and easy, and then... It just turned into a, hey, why is everything broken? I'm like, oh, well, let me get a look. I'll get back to you. It's broken because I said it's broken. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if it was broken because of me, I'd be getting fired, okay? technically not broken it's just people have a poor understanding as to like our, our company is old right like it, it it was started in like the early 90s and so it has little weird nuanced things to it and over the years as things get added on people leave they kind of forget why things have not been done a certain way right 
So, so in other words, something broke, uh -huh. but nobody knows how to fix it anymore? Or, or something quite, works, no. but nobody knows why it works, so you just leave it alone? Basically, new, new management came in, and they have a little bit of a different process. It's not a wrong process. It technically works and is correct. But some of the systems that we have in place have assumptions on how things are done, and those assumptions broke. Because nice. no one decided that would be a good idea to tell anyone that things were potentially changing. Because in a way, that you wouldn't you wouldn't think so. Because you're just like, oh well, this this technically works because it does. But like, you know, all the reporting tools for finance broke. So, you know. Generally speaking, if it ain't broke, don't mess with it. But when it does break, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> It was funny, several times today I had to remind my supervisor See, that I was this off. This doesn't work morning. either. Like, yeah, you're right. I, know, I need, like, I need so the medium. Tomorrow platform. we're going to do this. Like, no, 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 I'm off tomorrow. I was like, oh shit, that's right. I know you're under a lot of pressure, bud, it's fine. but. This, this might be important later. We'll keep stacking platforms. Um. And then the office comes up and says, oh yeah, in a week and a half, we need all of this shit to. Built, ready for install in a week and a half. Have fun. And the super just looks at the office, just like, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How do we get an exos chip? You had to break those boxes up with explosives. Well, we knew that this project's been coming down the pipe, and you've been telling the office, like, look, we need a minimum of two to three weeks to do all the prep work for this. And the office is like, all right, all right, no problem. You got a week and a half. The truck leaves March 10th, so it better be full. Yeah, I got quoted on my moving cost today, and I'm sad. How, how bad? Like five grand. Ow! How much crap you gotta move? It's a two-bedroom apartment moving eight hours away. I mean, also, I it's get... going to take them six days to deliver my shit. Six? What? Did you look at getting other quotes from elsewhere? Oh, yeah. I have another quote scheduled for Friday. And then um, um, another... You know, and then I go back to my fallback plan, which is basically get a U-Haul, fly a friend up here, or a family friend who used to be a trucker, and be like, hey, I'm gonna pay you a grand to drive this this truck for eight hours. And, uh... In the grand scheme of things, that will probably be your cheapest option. It's gonna be my cheapest option, but I also don't want to load a U-Haul or unload the U-Haul. That's what I'm paying movers for. I don't want to do it. You know what would have been nice? If these server rails were labeled for which server they're supposed to go on. Actually, no, never mind. Happen. No, they've got a part number on it. I can reference that. And one's thicker than the other, which means I uh, it should be easy to figure Actually, out. Actually, can I use this? Because one of my servers is slightly narrower. Okay, I've got two hours to kill this. before rain. So how's your, your uh, base expansion coming? Um, I'm working on getting somewhat of an auto smelter going. Have you been able to figure out the automated collector thing in my jig? 
mean, kind of. So just plop it down on a resource node and you're off to the races? Oh, that thing. I thought you meant the arm. Wait, what arm? Oh, you mean the, the train loading arm? No, no, just the standard arm. Oh, the auto arm is easy. I, I just turned on your stream, so... Oh, you're automating the smelter? Mm-hmm. I wish that there was a way where you could just, like, take your backpack and just throw it on that table and just let the arm grab everything. Well, what would be, be ideal, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing canisters to mine resources. And then I'm just going to leave the canister here and set it to unload, and the arm's just going to grab it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. At least that's the plan. Like, yeah, so like three canisters on these trailers, you know, I can grab 32 titanium, 32 iron, 32, you know, that's a lot. That uh, canister, is that off the medium printer or small printer? Medium. It's a plastic and a glass, which is pretty easy to get. I, I, have, I still have to set up um, gem station on this planet. Yeah. And then once I get my mining truck online, when it mines, it'll automatically just store the shit on the truck. Like, I don't even get out. You got all that figured out? No, that's just how the mining tool works for the vehicles. Oh. You actually built it? No, uh, I mean, the past I have, yeah. I mean, I have the big vehicle made. I just need to get the, you know, um, other stuff made. But I cleaned up my base, I got it all situated, and it's really just like, it's still kind of like the manual base, and so it gives me a good solid foundation to potentially start working on the automation. Nice. Now that I have copper, I can actually get power extenders and actually hook up my entire power grid. I set up a, a similar thing to the other planet where I just put all the power generation on top of a wall. It was just slightly out of range, so I had to get some copper to make power extensions. Alright, let's find some titanium. Please tell me I can mount the power extension to a wall. I think yes. you can. Yes, you can. Cool. 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 How did I All die right. from that? Did you fall off the cliff? It was like two feet. <laughs> but if I rewound the tape, it would look more like 30 feet, but okay. It felt like two feet, and the guys was like, Ugh! You're wrecked. I think our perspective on fall damage is skewed being paladins. <laughs> Yeah, the big rovers will definitely hold a lot. And in fact, I can potentially just get the bigger canisters on them too. So Udwar seemed to uh, went pretty well, don't you think? Yeah, the the yog kill was actually pretty, honestly, pretty textbook. Easy boss. It is when you don't have to pug anybody who's useless. <laughs> when, you, when you don't just step through it, all the freaking poison clouds. Hey, General. Okay. That was an exo request platform. 
I don't know. We have one at the starter place, but like it ha it, it, it doesn't says do anything. No, no events available. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, finally my power grid is up and running. Now I need to craft storage. Storage for batteries. Well, the good news is the house is gone. Oh my lord. Got your check? They, they tried to pull more over on me later last night. I was silent. You and I left around one o'clock this morning talking. I was back, I was back up at three thirty. From three thirty on, dealing with that house. Jeez. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, they were trying to pull all sorts of stupid crap, and then then I get over to the house, and they'd already moved their U-hauls and stuff, and had parked it, and then and like, hey, you guys like tried to move in without any authorization, keys, or anything. Like, this is fun. And then, so we did all this, I started working on stuff, and, you know, what we said we would take care of real quick, and we did, and go to the, go to the closing, and signed all the papers, and they were like, thanks, here's the keys, like, didn't say anything else, and they went over and started moving their stuff in immediately, because they were living out of a hotel room last night, evidently, and, uh, like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, just like, gone. Well, they were still harping about the new carpet I just put in. They're like, she's like, I, she, she's like, I just don't like the color and stuff. I'm like, that's not my problem. You saw me putting this in months ago. So they were being so petty about it. And I'm not, okay, I'm not a petty person. I'm not a mean person. But after they left and then we were finishing up the stuff that Angie and I had to do, we had to, uh, with the with the, clo the, real, the the closing guy, it started pouring as one of the worst thunderstorms we had in a long time. Fun. And they found a crack in the foundation that they're going to have to, which we, it's, we, we came off down on the price for them to fix it, you know. Well, you know, that whole thing about being petty, it comes back to bite you in the butt. Uh, they got halfway through moving in and they, and the basement flooded. <laughs> oh boy. Unlike, was, this a, was this a known issue or what? They knew the crack was there, but I've never had it like, like I've oh. never had issues like that. I'm like this, see, this is karma. Congratulations. Um, during, for your contract, did you, like, pay for, like, warranty or anything? Uh. Normally, that's a pretty common ask, right? I I mean, I don't know what they did. I mean, for me, no. I Because uh, there was nothing from my side, but. Because on my, on my house, they're paying for a year property warranty for me. Just in case something happened? Mm-hmm. Was that at your request? Yep. That's part of this, the terms of the offer. What you mean? Excited for KSP too? Yeah, man. So yeah, it was just it was just funny. The yeah. realtor reached out to me this after this evening. She said, "Yeah, just to let you know that they've they're they're kind of humbled by you know because they were barking orders at everybody about how this this and that, trying to show that they run everything, very like ritzy, and yeah. I bet they weren't humbled at all. That's just the realtor being nice. <laughs> no, so the realtor is actually one of our family friends. Um, and she called Angie, and then Angie called me to let me know. She's like, yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, good to know. Now I click a dick. Dick things happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah, it's been a crazy day. Hey, that's just one less headache for you to have to deal with, right? Yeah, exactly. So... Means you can sit back, laugh, or buy new toys. Yes and no. I got to pay off most of the debt from the divorce, but uh, I did go out. I just, I just went out and, and bought, went out to town to eat and brought my food back home from a nice, you know, decent place. You know, not. I, I would not hope that home. you at least celebrated with a good meal. Oh, you seen this clunky in place of overall to be a very superior experience. Um, yeah, well, I, I I'm just, I, you know, myself. I, I want to go into a blind. Um, I, I was going to do time. barbecue, but um, I just didn't feel like dealing with that at the moment there. that'll be like this weekend I went and grabbed my rails from the post office today it's 
Right, have to let's reference go find some iron. Figure out which ones where. But one of them seems to be thi uh, slightly thicker than the other, so I'm pretty sure I know which one goes on. The auto smelter is working. Very cool. Is that your your canister contraption? It's just a trailer with a canister on it, but yeah. He's making graphene now, too. I just got my chemistry station crafted. Just an Apollo style. Okay, so you watch some Matt Lone stuff. Find your streaming? Yep. The Sons of the Forest comes out tomorrow, too, so. Whew. I think we might do Sons of the Forest first, all the way through. And then go, go to KSB. Because KSB is a little bit more open ended, you know? But then again, like, I. I uh, Man, guys, I'm just so busy. Um, I have no clue what the next three weeks are going to look like. The whole buying the house, moving stuff going on. Spacer trees, true. Sick! I didn't even see this down here. Careful, plants will kill you. On the, the cave by my base here, apparently there was a fully functioning medium generator. Oh. Okay, nice. It runs off carbon. That's easy to get. Burn seeds for carbon. I don't believe so. Because they eventually have to go farther and farther afield for organic. Unless the grass respawns. I wonder if I can use an auto grabby arm to keep the generator fed. Let's see why not. Uh, yes, you can. Would require one of those canisters to. Keep what you going. really should do is we should unlock the power sensor thing in so that the generator only turns on under a certain power threshold. Yeah, that would probably be wise. Yeah, that way you don't, you don't waste your fuel that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I link, still link it with a grabby arm to fuel it. Yeah, but like it's, it's not going to turn itself off. It's just going to grab all your fuel and just constantly go. I mean, I've got two large wind turbines and a large solar, and and two batteries, and it's. Sun should have multiplayer at the start, right? Uh, I believe so. But I don't really have a whole lot set up at the base. How much uh, power does the train draw? Uh, I think it depends on the length. Mine draws eight. You just wait till you get that smelter, and the. Uh... The soil centrifuge and the uh, chemistry lab have those. all running. You will burn through power like no tomorrow. I, I have all of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those, those, they eat a lot. Really, it's the uh, atmospheric condensers and the um, advanced compound thing that takes a lot. Yeah, I was slamming them hard last night. They kept filling them full, and they just kept. Yeah, I couldn't keep up with power, but it was fine. I'm like, okay, well, you go, while you run out of power, I'll go get more stuff to throw on you. So it's fine. Very bad. Put my food in the microwave.
see if I'm playing Sons of the Forest with Raptor tomorrow. Never tried that game before. The Forest? No. It's a great... bringing over too many resources to really smelt very efficiently. Also, you can add a filter to the arm. So it only grabs a specific resource. Interesting. But it, it only, it's not like a type of resource, it's one resource that it will always grab. Oh yeah. I also made some light posts. Face is looking good. Yeah, the only bad thing with the light posts is that uh, you have an arm near close by and you have an open attachment spot. Sometimes the arm will randomly attach random things you produce to them too. Oh yeah. But you can just throw things on there like almost decorative pieces just to fill spots yeah. then. It was just funny because that happened to uh, uh, Lumberjack the other day, and I was I'm like, oh, wow, that's interesting and very funny. Oh, I'm about to have a full... Medium resource canister of iron. You get more of the, uh... You made me steal yet? I have one, but I don't really have much use for it right now. Like, we have, obviously we have uses for it, it's just the other resources that's required to make the thing is just kind of out of reach. Yeah. Titanium alloy. Tungsten carbine. Aluminium alloy. Aluminium and copper. Yeah, I might have to make a trip over to you. Pick up some copper. Alright. Do you happen to have like a... How much copper do you have? Me? I'm currently in the game, but because I'm eating oh. at the moment, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, I need to I need to swing by you anyway and see, bring you some stuff because I want to get Argon from you. I've only got two pieces of copper with me. And I need that for trains. I think about there's at least a half of silo over there. I'm gonna try and get pick up 32 copper from that place, and then I need to see because I I, I want to start making the things for what. I'm, I'm bringing a canister with me, and I might as well just load the whole thing up, right? Um, tungsten carbide. Yeah, I think the canister is two thirds full, something like that, right now. So there's there's a lot over there. I'll say that. Um, does does Solo have tungsten as well, or is it iron? Uh, we have tungsten. Oh, wait a minute. My, the planet that I'm on has it's got... Calidor. Um, yeah. tungsten and copper. Okay, that's good. That's right. I need both of those things.
Go to Calador. Nice if he could lock modules to the platform, as well as locking the platform itself. No, yeah, probably. I wish we could scrap these small shovels. Actually, I wonder if you package them up if they can get scrapped that way. I'll see why not. Oh my god, it's so dark over here. I'm used to having all my lights. Uh, where am I going? Just grab. I'm gonna make some graphite real quick. Is this on repeat? Why? No! Why'd you leave the centrifuge on repeat? I loaded some soil and it was just like, I'm gonna eat this now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nom nom nom. Yeah, both of the centrifuges are set up to make uh, one's ammonium. I think they both be both 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 maybe ammonium at the moment. No, one was just set up to ammonium. The other one was just kind of net set to repeat. Okay. Yeah, I had one doing graphite for a while too, so. But it was just, it was faster for me to run and do stuff and have go. all this stuff because I had so many machines doing things. I still like that layout of this area. Not bad. Are you able to set up a grabby arm to offload your train automatically? I haven't thought about even doing that yet. Because I want to kind of set up the auto extractor things and get the train to go there automatically to pick up stuff and then come back automatically because otherwise it's kind of not worth it yet. Let's look up here. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, doing something, chat. I was doing something. Copper. Yes, copper. How much copper does he have here? It's one. I think it's 14. Right. Let's take this into the mine and get some uh, copper real quick. Wait, 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 wait. I have the train. Finally got around to building a landing pad over here. I don't get lost. Uh, I don't think the train's near copper. We gotta take a few. Yeah, I just built my landing pad today as well.
I've actually got quite a bit of research right now. We do. We got eleven thousand five hundred. So we could do that power sensor. How much is the power sensor? Power sensor is five hundred. Uh, maybe you should also get the battery sensor. It's cheap. And, and then also I'm going to get the extra large shredder. Because we can produce steel now. Can we do nanocarbon alloys yet? Uh, I think so. Because if we can, we should look at Titanium up. alloy, steel, and helium. I don't know if we have helium yet. Um, helium is found on Atrox, which is... The uber hard one? The, the Yeah, the final hard one, yeah. So you can't do that one yet. What do you need that for? I was going to say, if we could do that, we should unlock the RTG, which is like the uber power generator that requires yeah, the no fuel. nuclear power? Yeah. We need a winch for. <laughs> I have no idea. But I want one. Kind of expensive. And what about the fault finder? Oh no, that's a mission report. Large resource canister, that's gonna be no bueno until we can get helium. Holds 400 nuggets. Holy shit. Yeah, that'll be good for like, you know, the Omega base somewhere that we consolidate goods at, you know, from all the planets. Large active storage, convertible storage slots that can be activated. Basically the medium storage thing, you know how it bigger. holds out, the bigger you get. Zinc aluminum resin to build. Do we want to unlock it? Um, I found the canisters to probably just be more efficient. Details and mission reward. Can we do silicone? Can we make silicone? Yeah. Uh, what does silicone take? Silicone takes resin, quartz, and methane. Methane comes from Novus, which we have a small base on, and Atrox, which we don't have. But we could unlock the crane then. Uh, I would assume that the crane would be used for grabbing like those large scrap piles. Yes, it's, it's kind of that and and also the, um, you can put a drill on it. Oh. If you have a vehicle that's auto drilling, then you don't really need it. Yeah. But that, that, that crane thing was out before the auto drill and paper thing existed. So like, ah. it, was, it was kind of the end game drill in a way. Alright, 20. I'm assuming that you unlocked all of these sensor rings for trains. Um, yeah, and plus they were cheap. They were only like 700 each, so. I don't know if you use a wish to tug huge solar array found on Kaladar. I think it you can't move it the other way. I'm not sure what else does. Huh. So my chat is saying that, and, and I remember seeing them in the past, but there's wreckages on some places. Like, that, that have like big solar arrays, which are cool. 
Um, and normally you can like build like a base around them and stuff, but you can use the winch to also drag them. Uh, to, like, I wonder if that would be the case with about that big uh, landing pad that I found. Uh, I don't know if you can move that one, but maybe. We should be able to actually craft the large shuttles. Exit chip times two, titanium alloy and ceramic? Uh, yes. That's, I don't think that would... That's the big daddy shuttle. It's two large slots. Five thousand unlock. We could, or we could just save up. But I don't um, think we go ahead and unlock it. All right, say. So. That's a big puzzle. Holy shit. I need to build a train station. I think the crane would be useful with the extra large shredder, though. For dumping, like, those big flat... You know what? The extra large shredder might actually shred a spaceship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. But again, I think it has to be package. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, the extra large shredder is pretty big. No, what I'm saying is, like, it might not allow you to shred the spaceship at all unless you pack it. I just... Why is the extra large sensor hoop so big? Holy cow. This is extra you... large, and it's a hoop. Why would... What would you possibly need a sensor this big for? I don't know. Maybe you could get a shuttle to fly through it, and it senses something. Put it around your landing pad, and maybe it senses when a spaceship is there and turns on and off your base. Alright, 32 copper mined! Now I just have to get back. Start smelting it. Shuttles can only be blown up? Oh, even if you package them? Giving me sad news. Also, is my is my stream broken? I have it up. Everything is working fine. That says shuttles can only only be blown up. No, no, chat's working, sure, but my stream just said that like it had a playback error. Okay. I don't know. I'll... Worked. I see you just driving. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my rail station. Let's go to my shop real quick, or my shuttle and grab an empty container. It's gonna be used to pick up the copper.
Alright, so while that's running, let's go get my other one. Go look for some tungsten. And we're gonna just bring a double trailer so we're a little bit faster. Um, what's what's the main metal on your planet? What planet are you on? Um, Me? Yeah. I'm on the purple one. But what's its main notable metals? Um, well, for my... I'm on Vesania. So li lithium in the caves, titanite in mountains. Okay. And then hydrogen, argon, and nitrogen for gas. Basically, this planet specializes in battery production. Seems so. It's good. Too bad you don't have the zinc. But it's easy enough to send over, right? Mm, in a way, yeah. All right. What's up, up? There's some. Wee! Slide mining over there. <laughs> I gotta go harvest me some of this aluminum I got down here. Novus, the site with um, all the tungsten. Not sure. The planet guide says. Uh, no. Novus is hematite and caves, lithium and mountains. So the solo is what we need for tungsten. We have base on the solo at some point. Yeah, the the solo or Kalidor has Wolframite, but it's only in the mountains, which is fine. But it's that it's primary resource. Caves are kind of usually the primary resources. But oh, okay. I don't know if once we get the auto miner up, if that just fixes that problem.
Getting some resources. I love these resource containers, dude. Like a whole train worth of, of uh, research objects to do. Nice. Yeah, I went down the mines after you, and just I just found tons. I'm like, oh, well, just fill the train up then. Yeah, there's there's a lot on the end of the line, isn't there? Just like lying around. from the Space Engineers beta at all silent? They were only holding the beta for a week. Oh. I, I did a bit on the beta to check it out. How was it? My primary concern was figuring out kind of the event controller. And trying to like, I'm kind of hoping that they take my suggestion and add in the ability to track piston based on distance and not based on a percentage. Percentage is distance, though, if you know how long the piston is. Yes, but not when you're dealing with it in terms of sensors. So to set up like a scriptless automated miner. I use a piston to, like, every time a sensor gets triggered, it'll extend the piston by half a meter. But, but uh, I do it by only dictating the maximum distance. So the only other way I can think of maybe doing it is on enter range or enter sensor range. It extends by half. It'll just hit the extend button, and then as it leaves, it stops extending. I don't know. To figure out the timings on that, to maybe make that work instead. All right, now I have all my wolframite. Time to go refine that. Basically, I tried building an automatic miner that would go down 50 meters. Okay. Without ever having to use a script. Specifically, to do it. 50 meters down, or oh, just five pistons. At 50 meters, because that's the maximum range of a sensor. Oh, I just set it up for 50 meters because that's, you know, what the sensor would do. Can I not lock the rail, rail station? Uh, I don't think Excuse you me. can. Hmm. What can you attach to a rail station? I don't it has I, these, I, haven't, these, I haven't worked on it, so I don't know. It has these four large... Things. I'm, I'm assuming those four large is maybe for a crane? Either for maybe a crane and an auto mo auto grabber thing so that it can unload. I, I, I don't know how the... Because if, if you use your train station, like it has a console, and it'll tell, you know, hey, you can call a train there, you can trigger something to happen, set it to load, unload. I have no clue how any of that works. And trigger a Calador snail if you have a landing pad. What's Calador snail do? Snail stuff? Actually, don't tell me. Um, maybe hmm. eventually. I'm assuming to unload it needs either a crane or a gravity arm. Um, Let's see if I, I can figure it out. Uh, one of the train stations that I got from a quest has like a helpful guide thing in there. I got a train station and a train car. That's it so far.
I need to build a bunch of tracks. The tracks are cheap. Yeah, I just had to go harvest a bunch of aluminum first. Other things I also gotta build. I gotta build my tractor first. The good old tractor. I'm gonna need it in order to harvest the supplies to build my train network. Mm -hmm. Did you do the snail already? Uh, there's a snail for every planet, I think. I did the snail for Silva. Uh, like a pile of research in here? Yeah. Two copper smelted. I'm just gotta wait for the 32 tungsten. Oh, would, you, would you put like work lights on your towers or something? Uh, yeah, one work light. Okay. On the part that's angled down. Oh, no, no, I didn't use a work light. Sorry, I, I used oh. the other one. The floodlight? Yeah. Work light might look good, though. Like. Also, it needs to be on a thing. Okay. If I did work light, I, I would put it on the... What's it going to call it? The, the non-downward one. Put back but together. That canister storage was what medium? Printer? Um. Yeah. I think it's small. Because medium stuff, I think, gets printed at the small printer. Large things get printed at the medium printer, and then extra large things get printed at the large printer. That makes sense. How's it called? Um, it's called medium resource canister. Plastic and glass. So weird to be on a planet that actually has good sun. Yeah.
This is taking forever. I'll be right back. Oh shit, you can change the power extenders to be bi-directional power. Like directional or network? Good to know that you can change power extenders to be bi-directional. Oh my lord, we are still waiting for this to smell. Almost done. I'm back. Okay, I've officially mined your planet bear. Goodbye. <laughs> Enough stuff for a thruster. <laughs> Let's see, where's my one ammonia that I made? Move it. Cool. 
it was sitting on this interview, so where would it go? I'm not sure on that one. I know I made, I made, uh, compound. Oh well, I'll just make one. Really need to get a hydrazine thruster skin going at some point. Yeah, I think that's what I need to steal for. Just for the thruster itself? How yeah, are you I making believe that's... hydrazine then? Uh, we have it to build a do over here. Oh, you have hydrogen here. Yeah, because the hydrazine is what makes the graphene. So I have plenty of hydrazine. I just need the argon. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and steal some hydrogen. Because I have a hydrazine thruster from a quest. I grabbed the wrong thing. I did. I created a third research station, so try to burn through these cubes as much fast as we can because there's so many more down there. What are you? What are you trying to burn? Oh, the research stuff. Yeah, I get through it because there's. I have so. There's so much research down there. my base when you need iron and steel. Yep, I'll be heading that way soon. There'll be a natural landing pad that you have to use because I only have one actual landing spot. 10-4. my home! Good old orange juice. Okay. Oh yeah, just another thing. I have my uh, face marked with a beacon. It's a red beacon. Nice. Okay, does this thing explain? Function, function. Uh, if you ever wanted to divert your train to another rail line, if you're not satisfied keeping your rail lines on the straight and narrow, just deploy a rail truck to connect additional rail points. Thing, she's saying, come here, thing. Reach a dead end deep inside the cavern to color Thanks to a site pylon. Nothing a rail truck can't fix. It's attached to any site pylon. 
Continue your rail line in whatever direction you desire. Runaway train looking to plunge into certain doom? Oh no, better hit that switch button. Change the rail line. Okay. <clears throat> Three depots on Glacio, Calador, and Soviet. Each planet have unique topography and better access to the effectiveness of planetary airways as well as valuable resources. I show you find a freight that's been neatly packaged for delivery to the depot. On Kalidor, you find a number of items within the caverns that will be invaluable for scientific research. And on Sylvie, and I said within Mushroom Lair, you'll find a rare specimen of first further study. No, curious. That's an old cheese worker land. They place site ponds in areas of interest in all three planets. These ponds. Okay, training safety. Doesn't really say how to do the loading, unloading kind of stuff. But that's okay. Where my uh, thing go? How much steel do you need? I mean, I'll take whatever I can get. Just to, I mean, a couple pieces to, you know, as much as you want to give. Okay. How about eight? That's fine. How's your argon supply? Uh, basically infinite. Okay. I'm bringing that medium, uh, container that holds it, so I can just fill that up, and that's like 32 little ones in, in that one thing by itself. Yeah, you can just take the argon if you want. I mean, yeah, I'll probably take one or a couple steel from you, then I'll take a whole bunch of argon. That way, I can just you know, that'll get me up and going, and I can then deal with you know making stuff in the future. Sure. Start making some steel for you. as the fuel source to make steel uh that that would be the argon yeah which is on this planet so there's also iron on this planet and so i i, I just make carbon combine iron with argon and make steel
Don't give me the and robot. Just doing whatever you want. Platform's so cool, I love it. I like how one container of argon can make five steel. Wow. If I fill up the big thing, that's a lot of steel over here, then I can produce. Still made for you. And four. Um, apparently I can research steel. I did not know I could do that. Just gotta make one more now. <laughs> Just the one me. So 
was like, where where am I gonna keep this stuff? So I set it I set it all all on the research thing. It was just like, okay, yoink, sure. I mean, it gives 300 bytes per minute up to about a thousand total bytes. So it's, it's not nothing. Speaking of research, two of the three uh, machines were down. Eh, they were ready to go. What's this one? Portable oxygenator. It's pretty cool. As long as you have power, you have oxygen kind of deal. We have researched explosives. Silent's favorite thing. <laughs> Okay, you shouldn't be so good at that laugh. You should, you know, maybe, maybe not practice that in front of a mirror. <laughs> well, that's rather zinc. Why two? I love how, like, I've started a quarry in this hillside, and, uh... It's just gotten out of hand. I mean, I'm just dropping mountains everywhere. Basically. I can drive into this cave and follow it out. I'm sure you've gone through a lot more. It seems like you just live off that uh, soil centrifuge. Did you just bite into a sandwich while respawning? Sorry. No, no, it's not kind of sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, well, I, I, I would kind of heard the question like what I was too busy trying to feed the uh, forge all right so what can we use steel for the bigger rocket engines uh, ro large rocket ships Big boy toys that I've been wanting to get a hold of for a bit. Oh yeah, the large shuttle is definitely a big boy. Uh, it's required for the auto extractor. Tungsten carbide. Why don't you build an auto extractor? Yeah, I've tried the alignment tool a little bit. I have it here on my gun. Imagine if it needs power, you'll have to plug it into the train station with my power. That's how come this area is so flat now. At uh, the start of the stream, I used it. Um, tungsten carbide. What's that take? Tungsten and carbide? That's that bad. I can do that. You need steel to make a hydrogen hydrogen thruster. Yeah, that's that's the thing there. So chips. So I have one here. I need another one. I need another exo chip. Dynamite. Oh, get dynamite now. Go bunch of chests. Powder. 
Didn't you have some like frozen chests that needed to be exploded? Carbon, sulfur, carbon. Um, yeah, but I need sulfur. We don't have sulfur. There was one piece of sulfur on the last planet we were at. Sulfur I is have, on Kalidor. I have one container of sulfur. Like container or a bunch of little containers? One little container. Can you produce some more? And when you come oh, no, it there, was one that I just found. Oh, out never mind. No, you got it. There's a whole big thing here. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring me like eight of those if you can. Ten no, four. They get no, the thing out. I'll trade you eight steel for it. I'm gonna make me an extra large shredder. Now, if Krang shows up, I'm gonna be really worried. Or is it Clang or Krang? Whatever that was. Clang from uh, Space Engineers? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, no, no, Ninja Turtles. Shredder? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Sh yeah. So she had Shredder, and then yeah, you yeah. had the little, the little pink brain thing. Was Krang or Clang or something? I don't know that one. Titanium alloy, too. It was a titanium alloy. Titanium and graphite. Set of modules with eight sulfur. Graphite and hydrazine. I need to make some hydrazine. And no, I don't want you to, to button the, the, um, the containers onto the hydrazine. rocket area. That's kind of stupid. Wait, hold on. Are you talking to me? No, it was... Out. Yeah, I was just saying that I've got your stuff on board, but it was decided to... It wanted to try to put the uh, containers into the, uh, instead of in the cargo hold, it wanted to put them where the booster goes. Oh, yeah. Or the thruster. It that. Because your thruster has spots now on it for the fuel. Yep. You can actually, I think, just keep things there as well. So, um, did you make your hydrazine rocket yet? Like, uh, or that's what this deal is really for for you? That's, that's gonna be part of it's gonna be for that. Okay. I'm just curious how much hydrazine fuel it goes through by switching planets, because the solid can only do, you know, two trips. Um. Yep. What planet are you on now? Glacio.
Three hydrazine to fully fuel up the hydrazine booster. Also, welcome. Hello. Here's your steel. And for seeing what you got over here. Yep, I brought this stuff just to that way we have another one over here. Yeah, I got one of these. She's a three seater. Nice. Look, 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 look. Eight launches per canister. Dang, that thing still can hold more. Ninety five out of one sixty. But a launch is 25% of solid. So, are you saying you can really do one canister is actually four planets? You can keep that medium one. I think that was, unless that was mine. Uh, yeah, I, I brought an extra one, so I just swapped you. Oh, okay. Here's easier that way. get a hundred PPU of our gun here. Oh my god. So it fills up pretty quick. Like my uh, battery wall. Oh, very nice. Definitely windy enough here. Yeah, it's got high wind or very high winds, but like no solar. Yeah. And then. You can go ahead and take the train all the way down if you want to, just so you can see the caves on this planet. Just tap W.
My train may or may not be a roller coaster. May or may not be what? A roller coaster. Oh, okay. In general, ride in the rover on the side seat. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Well, I mean, I need he to can ride on the in other there with side us. of the cave, so... That's why I wanted the three-seater on it, just so I can take people through it. Alright, so what I need for this large shredder... Tungsten carbide... Jenna, if you get a chance, any chance... Any way you could drop off some copper? We'll have to see what I've got. I'm currently over at Uther's planet, so... Yeah, no, no rush. Logistics Depot. Huh. Yeah, um, apparently, so there's these um, freight boxes on this planet. I'm pretty sure I can bring them here. It requires a train to do it. Or something that has a big enough cargo thing. I think my big rover can as well, but like it, it doesn't have enough power yet. Where am I? I think I shredded them all, didn't I? Oh my god, we're starting to get too much stuff. This isn't aluminium. Oh, we have rewards ready to collect. You have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. Good luck out there on your safe. You gotta. You need to correct, connect a rail line to a site pylon on Glacio. one i gave it the tall boy fine well we got a whole bunch of these uh qtrtgs for gifts those are the uh little reactors right yeah there's three of them you know you can take one leave one here and then take one to silent i guess i have two of them over here Well, you know, I was just trying to be nice to a friend and I guess he doesn't want our gift. You have a uh, Sylvie creature up here that came in too. Uh, are you talking about at the base part or? Yeah, actual? he came in with the gifts. Oh, really? You can take that one. I already have one. If you feed him a seed, he gets, he gets really, really bright. Lights up the area. <laughs> I think I'm gonna head to back to my line. planet. I don't know what that means. What do you mean, pylon? Get some stuff going, then go see what uh, I can do for silent. Is this Starcraft? Pylon? I just need a little bit of copper. Yeah, I just gotta see what we got over there. 
I don't need much. Maybe just like four. Four or five will be for now. Yeah, I think there's that much over there. I'll have to see. If you have any extra zinc, I could use that. I think I got plenty of that. I think I could use at least six more zinc would be nice so I can make six more batteries. That was on Calidor, right? Yeah, know. that's where you're based out of. Currently. I still got eight iron. I'm good on that. Trying to figure out where oxygen I want to place the rail. Portable oxygen. Ooh, you're right. That would be basically permanent. But I also Power have to get ready for rain, so I'm probably gonna bounce out here. Make sure I have everything set up. Wow. So you're an MC raider now. I am the raid leader. Sorry to hear that. I gotta find out who's showing up for raid and who's not showing up for raid. Seems to be lately. Pylon uh, is an NPC. Oh, one of those. those. Tanks show up, but none of the healers show up. Okay. It's been a while. That's about right. Yeah, so there's one actually right over here. Those uh, pylons that we found on the other planet, you could probably package those up and bring them over here to where you're setting up. Like where I'm setting up? Yeah. Oh no, I, I, this plan is covered in them. Just dropped in. Are you planning to revisit RO? Yes, for sure. We're going to revisit RO. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm just waiting for it to get some love and attention and, uh, then we'll come back to some uh, ROO. Are those tall ones adjustable or? No, there's just two versions. A short one and a tall one, and I accidentally made a bunch of the tall ones. Which will look cool for like my cross country rail line, I guess. these freight models are like. I'm making a freight train, boys. We're playing RO again. Giant research, I guess? No, they're like, they're technology, but I don't think they're research. I think I just take them to my train depot, my special one, and they get sucked up. Or something. Yeah, I am out of uh, copper. It's fine. It's not urgent. I don't know, it's pretty orange. Hop on my save sometime and check out the control track. We're gonna see. Healer and one moonkin tonight so far. Oh, we'll get an exochip one. Transport frozen argon to logistics depot. Zero out of 20. I'm just gonna shred this. Shred this. Shred that. I guess I can just put this on my suit. I need to 
Guess when you constantly won you. I can't shred this. You guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. See ya. Some more hydrazine. Ooh. Just realized I can put the RTG on my backpack. Yeah, I'm wearing one right now. A for chat. And then apparent apparently you can get a portable oxygen generator too and put that in your backpack and then with the combination of the two items you have the power and oxygen. Oh. You can send that trade platform to your planet. Nah. Nah. You can make your own. They're super cheap. Well, I mean, if you come by at some point First to like get iron, steel you can just came out. Nice. Well, outside of the eight that you already own. Yeah. Pulling up my rocket right now with free hydrazine to see uh, how it performs. I guess I can just bring the oxygen tank around. It'll give me a temporary bigger oxygen boost anyways. These hydrogen bottles have five uses too. Oh, I didn't check on them. Yeah, the 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 little lights on them. I can make five hydrazine with one bottle. Okay, cool. Oh. All right, one hundred percent fuel. Exo chips. Okay. Yep, same here. Um, yeah, we had tons of them over here. I don't know. I think they're all gone now. <laughs> well, I, I took a couple. That's fine. I think we ground a cut one or two up, too. We ground one up. Okay. Instant carbide. Instant carbon. Actually, didn't I already make that? Yeah, the big shuttle would need yeah. titanium, I just realized, so. Steel, we have steel. Oh, I need to make one steel. 
<laughs> what else do I need here? Um, I'll make some explosive powder. Carbon, carbon, sulfur, which I think is this, right? Take it. Guys, about twenty hangouts. Your lunch break. What's up? Not much, Cade, dude. How's uh, how's Japan? Still doing well over there. I'm still super jealous. This will hopefully give me some stuff. Going good, about a month and a half to two months left. Japan will miss you. But I'll be happy to have you back so you can play some games with us and stuff, dude. Festival on your base, nice. Okay, so I just flew from Glacio to Silva. On a full tank of hydrazine. And I have. <laughs> 22 launches left. And nice. Which is really cut in half, because, like, launching into orbit is a launch, and then launching to another planet is a launch. So it's really just 11, but, like, that means it's basically 12 planets. Yeah, but do you do you actually launch to orbit, then launch to a planet, or do you just select the button to launch straight to, to a planet? Uh, I launched straight to a planet. Okay. I think just changing orbit and like go, like going to orbit and somewhere else on the same planet is only twenty five percent of a solid fuel booster, while changing planets is fifty percent. So. Yeah, silence. Silence about to raid or something. So he's he's actually pseudo net here stuff, but uh, yeah. Play some more Project Zomboid, man. Good times. Right, do we even have a truck here anymore? This little baby thing? Uh, that's fine. This will do. Little baby truck. Let's 
Let's go look for some chips. Yeah, the stream opened and prepping to raid in a while. Oh, okay. server planning on board right now oh nice an rp server rp server would be interesting he uses two launches for takeoff one to take off and one for the landing yep well actually no like to me it's it's none for the landing right but it's one for launching and then one for changing planets i think because i'm pretty sure if i were to go into space and like for, okay, this this is my example then. When you launch at 50% solid booster power, right? Remaining. Okay, you launch. And then in orbit, you have 25% left. So when you change planets and you arrive at the new planet, your, your booster actually breaks. And you land without a booster. So... I'm pretty sure from orbit back down to the planet's kind of free. It's just the launching and changing of planets that costs money. Or power. Has it been updated much? It is looking interesting. You know, just a little slow on development right now. And, of course, of all the drama that happened and stuff. But, you know, what's a good indie game without some drama? any other pieces there. Alright, first two. Debris bundle. Looks like these crates give you two exo chips each. Oh, nice. You have a whole bunch of them over there or something? Um, I mean, I made three dynamites, so I'm look. I'm trying to get to uh, three crates, which I already found. They show up on the radars, little green icons. So okay. you just drive around and you find them and blow them up. I don't think they respawn though, so you, know, you have to go farther afield as we go through them. Yeah, I'm gonna need four or five chips at some point. Over time, of course, but. This one had three. And a whole train of artifacts to research. Oof. This is the second or third run I've made. Getting all that research done. We're back up to 9,000? Wow. Yeah. And just spent it. <laughs> At this point, I'm just unlocking everything. I mean, pretty much, yeah, that's, that's the goal. Are you able to manufacture your own chips later? You can trade for them, but uh, using like a rare resource or something, I think. Brought 12 research items back. You can blow up multiple with a single dynamite. Yeah, I mean, if they're close enough together, I hope. Because it is an AoE. Kind of effect there. 
Have you ever played Astro Near Arcade? Would have been a cool to uh, have you with us. So how's your single player game going in general? Pretty organized and nice? It's not going too bad. I mean, I haven't played since the other day, but I mean, the first base, I had a nice little setup going for production and stuff, and then, then we switched back into this, into this round, so I haven't had a chance to touch it again, but I, I will be soon. Definitely applying things I'm learning to on both games to each other here, so. Watch quite a bit of it, but never got your game yourself. Oh, okay. It's Glacio. Alright, back to Glacio. Some salvage. Before into KSP tomorrow, didn't realize Sons of the Forest were coming out the same day. No, a KSP is the 24th. Sons of the Forest is tomorrow. That's my understanding. But yeah, I'm super excited for both of those games. Okay, cool. So we got, uh, Exo, Exo. Steel, tungsten carbide. Extra large shredder getting printed. Beautiful. We already have the platform for it. Come over here. Swap this guy out. Oh, yeah, you are 17 hours ahead. I mean, it's still a day apart for you, for you then. Approaching. Scrap. I think it's basically the same day if you don't sleep long enough. <laughs> oh, it just blends together. see anything else we need obviously I need to make the drills for the big boy rover we need to get the second Any of my 
alloy, tungsten carbide. And then aluminium alloy, silica. Need these two items. You can pull that off, eh? Yeah. Rock on. Shredder is a big boy. <laughs> Can I shred my old shredder in it? Yes. <laughs> the shredder shredding shredders. <laughs> Alright, silent. God, it's twitchy. takes 10 units of power. Yeah. As much as the gas, but still. By the way, I already have a full thing of gas again. <laughs> I like how when things shred, they don't get destroyed, they just get smaller and smaller. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I just noticed that. Find astronium. And I don't even know what the final thing is. All right. So the drill: titanium alloy, tungsten carbon. Nitrogen, raffine. Yeah, I'm not gonna have nitrogen anytime soon, I don't think. Unless I can order it. Nope, can't do anything with that. Okay, let's read this. Who can I can I shred Sylvie? I gotta go back to work. It was nice to have my. Alright, dude, you have a good one. I 
Ah, Trade Depot. Goodbye. Nom 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 nom. Almost twenty six scrap. Mm -hmm. right, well, let's let's look at uh, the large rover again. Exochip. Loom aluminium alloy and rubber exochip. All right, I'm back, but oh, I think uh, I'm gonna call it quits for the night because uh, that was three oh, hours of sleep. Server, yeah, yeah, three hours is finally starting to catch up to me. All right, dude, you have a good night. Thanks for uh, hopping on and. Glad, uh, hopefully that's a lot less stress for you. The house gone and stuff. Yeah, it feels a hell of a lot better, I'll say that. So, anyway, I'll talk to you later. You know what? We need to look at some power banks for this thing, too. Lithium and zinc. I don't have lithium. I do have zinc. But I can order lithium. Keep on shredding. Um, already had aluminium alloy. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, rubber. Rubber is pretty easy, right? Ooh, diamond. Rubber, organic, and resin. All right, we got. Uh, Ah, oh, rocket! I feel like my audio is broken. I had to save and reload the game.
up save. Menu. And we will load back in real quick. Actually, let's see, um... I don't think I've unlocked any new suits. Unlocked by Atrox Awakening Achievement, Kalidor Awakened Achievement. I'm assuming these are like the, um, activate all the portal things. Slow in. Oh god, okay. Fix the audio. What is silicone? Actually, no. I was I was in the middle of trying to make my big rubber exochip, exochip, rubber, rubber which requires resin and also organic. Conductor suit for rail missions? That's badass. Come on. Two exo chips. All right, let's get another rubber. So we can get the third trailer too. As well. We. We got battery banks. We're also gonna need some better power generation um, on this thing. Probably four medium turbines. Carbon. Okay. Gemini only characters the driver, but he sits on the side seats. True. It's those little things, you know.
Oh yeah, these give power too. Nice, this is gonna have a lot of just gonna medium storage on the small ones. Medium storage on the small ones. I don't know where you're referencing. more exo chips which leads us two more for I think the large shuttle right it's a large shuttle yep so the auto extractor it's looking pretty good for two maybe things over there. Almost. On a large storage, put eight turbines. Oh, oh, you mean like, put this... And this. And that's my power generator. Put eight, eight turbines. of just the small boy turbines? I guess that is a little bit better, isn't it? That's 1.5. So that's three per that. So how much is a medium turbine give? Just is five. So mediums are still are, are more efficient. So if those two produce three, but in one medium produces five. Then what I might do is actually switch this around. this thing in there is going to be a big pain in the butt now. Uh, you know what? Maybe if I connect it instead and charge it real quick. Yeah, the large ones are great. I mean, eight small turbines on a medium storage. And that makes that 
takes on medium size. I don't think I'm just following. I think I think I'm just dumb. <laughs> so you're talking about that then? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Yeah, I think you mentioned this the other night too. How that is technically more power. And I agree, right? Because eight. Yeah, it's. It's. It's also cheaper to do. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna just drive this out of here because. Um, I think that's my only option to get this. Thing attached. Excuse me. Okay. I do have a couple spare storage, anyways. And giggles. Let's go ahead and just put two solar on here. Um, how much storage does this have? truck No, no problem. It's just, uh, you know, I'm dumb. Yeah, we have room for one more trailer, but I'm not I'm not gonna worry about just one more little trailer like that right now. It's gonna be enough power. Then Looks like it. Then we can just be like, flop. Actually, instead of Mr. Train here, I would like to let's go pick up some cargo with this thing. Let's see if we have to use the train. I don't think we have to use the train for it. Oh, 
Can't wait till we have that drill on paver. It's gonna be so cool. Got in here. Steel, graphite. Mm, that's about it. Do you know if the paper will align to the planet grid? Actually, I think it's a adjustable paper. So you can adjust kind of the angle on it. I think, or if it just, I think it, it's been a long while since I've ridden a big vehicle with like the drill and paver on it, but I'm pretty sure that it levels the terrain at the angle the vehicle is at um, while it is on. So if you have the drill flat, you're essentially gonna just carve straight through a place. But if you angle the drill down a little bit to start yourself on a slope, then you're gonna pave downwards too. I'm just doing this so I don't have to get more soil. If I remember correctly, once you have the drill and paver and you do like a nice, like I could like go up through here and just pop out the top of this cliff face because like it doesn't matter. The train is irrelevant at that point. It's a pretty cool feeling. All right, let's just get this delivery done. I'm gonna have to bring a canister on this thing so that it can uh, store its dirt supply for the paver. At least I'm fairly certain that's a kind of a requirement. the test. Just 
load up the train, right? Or the four a little bit. Back it up. Back it up. And we're one short, but that's okay. We'll figure that out, I think, next time, guys. It's, it's 11 o'clock. I've been streaming for almost five hours. I need to go uh, get ready for bed. You know, it's still a work week and everything, but uh, I think we made some good progress on this base today. You know, things got a lot more organized. We have s some very light automation going as a test to see what the big automation is going to look like. We got the big rover online. We have hydrazine. We have the big shredder. We got we got some progress. This is what progress looks like. So with that, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. If you guys uh, enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Get notified when we go live. Become a member today to unlock Pop Cat. Otherwise, I'm going to be a really sad cat. So, you guys have a good rest of your week. And I'll talk to you guys real soon.